Alright, I'm going to show you how to create your ePortfolio for the Puzzle Cube and actually for the rest of the year. So the first thing you need to do is log into Google, whether it's your school account or a personal account. Um, once you log into Google, you need to go to sites.google.com. And if you've never created a site, this will be blank, but if you have, um, it'll show you all the sites that you've created uh, to this point. So once you're here, you need to go ahead and create a new website. Uh, it'll ask you to name your site, and you want to name that your last name, and a hyphen, and then PLTW. And then use a blank template for now. Hit Create. And I already created one last year, so I'll just do test site. All right. So um, once this site uh, becomes available, it's just going to be a blank template. And what you're going to want to do is um, you're you're going to add a page called Puzzle Cube, and then within Puzzle Cube, you'll have sub pages. Uh, one sub page for parts and drawings, and another sub page for uh, your assembly and animation. So to create those pages, up here in the right, click on New Page, and we'll title the first one Assembly. And what I want this to do is I want this to go, no, I'm sorry, uh, we need to create the Puzzle Cube page first. So we just want that um, at the at the top level here. Uh, we don't want it under home, we want that at the same level as like your home page. So we'll go ahead and title it Puzzle Cube, put it at the top level, and create. So this page, for now, we're going to leave it empty. Uh, you'll come back when you do your, your final portfolio, you'll, you'll write some stuff about it. Um, but for now, you just hit save. And then we want to create pages uh, underneath the Puzzle Cube. So you're gonna. This is where you'll put assembly, and we'll put this uh, under Puzzle Cube page. So it'll look like uh, you can click on Puzzle Cube and then click on assembly. Go ahead and hit create. And for now, just hit save. And notice over here on the left hand side, if we click on Puzzle Cube, um, there's a sub page called assembly. So let's go ahead and create another another sub page and call this one parts and drawings and again put page under puzzle cube so this will be at the same level as assembly but it'll be underneath puzzle cube um, hit create and you have yourself your two sub pages now within your sub pages is where you're going to insert those JPEG images that I had you guys creating uh, last week so in order to insert images, go up to the Insert tab under Image. Now here's where Google has a, a middle middleman step in here, I call it, where you have to actually upload all the files to this little window, and then once you upload all your images, you can select them one at a time to insert onto the page itself. So for example, I'm just going to come down here and select um, this image here, JPEG image here. Um, once it actually uploads it, it gives you the preview of what the picture looks like. And then you can just go back through and select choose file again. Select another JPEG image, another part file, another, another drawing image. And you're going to keep doing that and opening those until this whole window is full of all the JPEG images. Once you've got them uploaded, then you may select an image. And if you hit OK, it'll insert it into your web page. Now obviously this is way too big of size, so if you click on the, the image itself, down here you have small, medium, large size. So if you click on those, uh, you can see it resizes it to a much more appropriate size. Um, I recommend either medium or large. Um, if you hit original, that's when it goes to the, the full size, full screen. Um, so select medium or large, and then um, go back up, insert, image, keep doing that and um, make sure that you try and format it as best you can so an example would be um, here's your puzzle cube homepage like I said we will add to it 
uh, like this student did. But notice under under here we have a subassembly, a subpage for assembly, and a subpage for parts. What I want you to try and get it to look like is is like this, where we have a column of JPEG images of your part, and then corresponding on the right hand side would be your multi view of that part. So part one image, part one drawing file. Part two image, part two drawing file. You get the idea. That's the only thing you need on this page. Now if I go back to the puzzle cube page uh, and click on the subpage for assembly, all I want in there now is the JPEG of your assembly and the JPEG of the presentation. Um, if you have time, uh, you may record the animation, but right now I'm not going to have you guys do that. Uh, last year we were only about 50% of the computers were capable of doing it. So what I mostly what I need for the page is your assembly and animation as JPEG images. Uh, once you have that, um, go ahead. This student forgot, um, but what also the, the third thing you would need is uh, what we did yesterday, where you create uh, the drawing file of your animation. It'll have the balloon numbers coming off each of your parts, and then in the corner it'll have your parts list. Um, so those three things: the the assembly, the animation, and the drawing file of the parts and balloons. Um, once you're done with that. All you have to do, um, it's not letting me do, you'll click on share, uh, which for some reason is not letting me right now. Oh, that's because it's not my website. Um, okay, so we'll save that image. Now we're back on my site. Um, you've saved everything, you have all your images uploaded. Uh, up right, upper right corner, click on the share button. And down here, invite people. Type my email address. My first name, dot, last name, at cfschools.org. Uh, if you're using a school account, you can just start typing ZEB and it should come up with the whole thing. Um, select it and then hit share and save. It'll send me an email and then I can uh, check you off on your um, website ePortfolio. And that is the last thing we'll do before the quarter.